Hi everyone, John here. Welcome back to a short Blender tip. I've just worked out how to save my HDRI setups into the Asset Browser and I wanted to share that with you. Now, I'm not going to show how to set up the nodes for an HDRI. There's plenty of tutorials on YouTube. I'll just set a link in the description for one of those. What we're going to do is focus on how to save this setup into the Asset Browser. So, I'm inside a blend file I've named HDRI, and this is inside my Assets folder. Just go to Preferences. You can see in File Pass, I have my user library set to my OneDrive into Blend and into Assets. So I'm specifically saving my HDRIs into this separate blend file just to keep things organized. And you can see I've already got four or five set up already. So let's take a look at how to do that. Now, the trick to this is to save individual worlds, and each individual world has its own HDRI setup, and then saving that world as an asset. Now, first of all, under display mode, I've set this to Blender file, so I can see worlds down here. And to create a new world, make sure you click on the World Properties tab. Come over to this button here, New World, and click. And you can see there's my duplicate and that automatically duplicates the node setup. So all I have to do is come over and click on the folder here and choose a new one. I'm going to choose cloud layers, open image. There you go. You can see it's updated there. And come over and rename that. Cloud Layers, and there's a few ways you can add this as an asset. You can right click here and choose Mark as Asset. You can also come over here and click Mark as Asset. Over here in my Asset Browser, click on Unassigned and there's the new thumbnail. To add that into my Catalog folder, I'm just going to click there and drag it. And there we go. To choose a different world, you can click and drag it, just like that, or you can just choose one from the list. And that's how you set up HDRIs in the Asset Browser. So hopefully you found that useful. I know I'm going to be watching this again in a couple of weeks when I've completely forgotten how to do this. Anyway, for now, this is John. Have fun, be creative, and I'll see you in another tip.